a really quite amazing atmosphere in this city. The ultimate after show party for London 2012. An RAF fly pass, military marching bands and of course, most importantly, the crowds out in their thousands. Celebrating what this city has done over the last few weeks and the achievements of Britain's athletes. Now later in the programme we hope to hear from some of the forces athletes who've been taking part and some of the servicemen and women who've helped keep the game secure. But first, Rosie Layden has been following that rapturous parade through the streets of London. Huge crowds lined the route to cheer and wave and congratulate Britain's Olympic and Paralympic athletes. It's been an incredible year, but to end on this huge high, you know, here in London with, you know, an amazing team, with this crowd for one last time, it's incredible. I just had to go out there and, and deliver on those two days and it's the most amazing feeling to know that, you know, I, I put all that together and I did it and it, I'm just enjoying every minute of it now. Really excited, I can't believe this today. I can't believe the people that have turned out to come and see us and I just think it's great. For the athletes, it was a chance to thank the public for all their support and all those who've helped make the game such a success. The volunteers, along with the armed forces, the police, the organisers, they've made these games and it's, it's something we can all be proud of and it's just great we've shown that we can, we can put on a big party and we can enjoy ourselves and celebrate. Royal Artillery Captain Heather Stanning and her rowing partner Helen Glover were the first members of Team GB to win gold. But for Captain Stanning, it's back to the day job next week. Uh, back to work next week, uh, so you know, enjoying this time at the moment, me and Anthony, but it's back to work next week. As the procession arrived at Buckingham Palace, they were greeted by their families, royalty and politicians and a spectacular fly past. The Golden Plain, which first brought the Olympic flame to the UK, and then a military tribute. Finally, speeches from the Mayor of London and the Prime Minister who praised the athletes and also thanked the armed forces. And to our servicemen and women who stepped up so magnificently, you proved again you're the greatest in the world. This was a victory parade to remember at the end of what's been an extraordinary summer. Rosie Layden, Forces News. Well, one of the key ports of call for that parade was Trafalgar Square, where seven long years ago, back in July 2005, London celebrated winning the right to stage the Games in 2012. Laura Hawkins was soaking up the atmosphere in Trafalgar Square just before the parade came by. Here at Trafalgar Square, it is absolute madness as thousands upon thousands upon thousands of supporters are here to see the parade. There's a real electric atmosphere and you can feel how patriotic everybody is and how much respect they all have for the Olympians, including, of course, our very own military Olympians. Neil, you, of course, remember that? Yeah, the, the first Wednesday really stands out because of Heather Stanning winning the gold medal and kick-starting the whole Games and starting that adrenaline rush and it was a perfect start to the gold medal stream that we won and we don't also have the military getting involved with the security of course you remember I do indeed yes I was based at the Olympic Park every day and they were absolutely brilliant um, they were all smiles they're incredibly efficient but without without sort of being too official if you know what I mean they just it was made it for me in a way arriving every morning and they were just so friendly it's great really great perfect and why are you here today you've got a very very good spot here <laughs> I, have, um, I just had the day off work and thought i'd come along and take in some of the olympic atmosphere and show a bit of support to the athletes who've put on a show really in the last few months it's just been such a fantastic summer of sports and just to be here celebrating with everyone the atmosphere is amazing it's just fantastic to be here and you're enjoying yourself today? Fantastic. I'm so proud to be British. And the fact we've just mounted the best ever Olympic and Paralympic Games ever, in my opinion. And just also I'd like to say a big thank you to the armed forces who've protected us and kept us, us secure. I was based at the Olympic Park and every morning, you know, they were so pleased to see you, so happy. And, and from a public relations exercise, it was absolutely amazing. So thank you to everybody that, that helped us keep us secure. What a fantastic, amazing way to finish the Olympics 2012. Laura Hawkins, Forces News, Trafalgar Square. Woo!